Lipsy is in the deep set. Lacey behind that great offensive line. And he is stopped after about a one yard gang, gang tackle by his same personnel. On first down, it's the play action. McCarron's going to throw deep. Norwood's got it. you in New Orleans. Now show the Nevada offense. Handed back off to Lacey. Lacey behind the left tackle, and he crushes the defense. Calls the defense, identifies the Mike linebacker. Yeldon behind the left side. And he's in college football. As good as any we've seen in several years. Lacey bolts middle, still going end zone. And Eddie You can see the double team on the left side there, opening up with Quanjo and Warmack. Eddie Lacey, you can see. A.J. McCarron with a seven-point lead back under center. Having Rodgers Redding, the national coordinator of football officials, up here in the booth with us, we're going to bring him in right after this play. Lacey on a screen, rips and spins like... First down and ten. Play action, firing downfield. Little lateral over to Lacey, trying to on second and five. Spins it out to Amari Cooper, the very talented. Lacey is in on third and one. He gets the call, steps through and breaks into daylight. Ten headed in zone, down short of it. The nose tackle, Jesse Williams is in as a blocking back, number 54. Gonna throw, touchdown. Yeoman cuts back to the left. Couldn't quite keep his balance. Behind the big left tackle, Quan Jones, big chance for back the left guard. There's that play action that he favors. Throws downfield for the first down, and the receiver breaks for well, It makes it very easy to set up play action because guys get out of position. He actually had, he could have gone to Kelly Johnson out in the flat or the. Got 54 yards already tonight. Play action, fired. And that's complete to Cooper, the freshman from right here in Miami, and he slips down the sideline. They defeated Texas a few years ago in Pasadena. Big Knicks finally shows up. And line assert themselves. Knicks is able to get through, shoot that gap with Barrett Jones. And actually, Stephon Tuitt also was able to beat his block. And the first negative play for Alabama sets up now a second long. And you can credit the defense. Off to Yeldon. Yeldon is spun around and keeps going. To make that tackle, you see him lined up there with Barrett Jones. He kind of reaches his big call out there and almost knocked the football loose. I couldn't tell if he got the face mask there or not, but no, he's able to avoid it. Of Yeldon. They've already had a long touchdown drive. And now they have two over 80 yards. Follow that big nose guard, Jesse Williams. He collides with Manti Teo to open it up and then puts the safe. Play action on first down, and he has to throw it away. Lacey, and now the I four receivers. Amari Cooper wide to the left. McCarron steps away from pressure. The middle is open. He won't get the first down. He's down at level from an awkward hit. He received ice treatment. It was massaged out. And ultimately, McCarron back in the game. A slight hitch to the way he's moving, but ready to go. Right. Lewis Nix, 300. For the champions of the Southeastern Conference, here is Lacey. Patiently picks his way for another first down. Lacey again behind the left side. There's that spin move. Throws a defense. Minutes remaining in the first half. Wow. He gives you at least a, a fighter's chance of trying to be able to move the ball. Here's the handoff to Yeldon. Here's 30. Off Yeldon's hands and almost intercepted by... Yeldon. Short of the back. On this third and three. 
Yeldon will follow Johnson. Johnson got blown up. And Yeldon with a second effort breaks. 42 yard line. Screen pass, Yeldon. Irish jumping. Shimbo and the possession. They have 267 total yards, 149 rushing yards. And Lacey trying to pick up more. So now. McCarron, this time, Jones. Second half, Eddie Lacey put up 96 yards, looking for 100 now, and he spins free. Jackson's got Cooper. So Lacey, 100-yard night, and works that far. I think it was, it was a, an effort play here towards the boundary. He just ends up falling awkwardly. And then look at one of the most individual decorated players that's ever played for Alabama. That's saying something. It's good to see that Nix is back and Heather. Some of these players, you could see that Nix is able to get back out there and try to get involved. And not only that, he's able to make a play. So it's good to see he's back out on the field. Here's your fourth and one. And Bama going for it with Lacey. He got it. Slips. Game has got the first touchdown. Six plus quarters against this defense in the championship game. Yeldon. Four angles. Second and nine. Draw play. Yeldon powers his way. And 215 passing yards for a very balanced Crimson Tide attack. Yeldon on a cutback. Another blown tackle. Curran's left. McCarran 15 to 21. Reaches to Lacey. Lacey steps away. From the seven, we begin quarter number four. Lacey slips and he. Off the play action, drops it down to Kelly Johnson. First time he's handled the football here tonight. Down and four. Lacey bursts to the middle. Little in. An outstanding receiver, remember. McCarron fires his own for the Crimson Tide. Doug Nesmeyer doing a great job calling plays tonight. Yeldon is stopped. You know, them off the field over there. He does now. Second down and 11. And here's the handoff to Yeldon. Yeldon tonight with 97 yards. McCarron. And it's good execution all night. Second time, by the way, at a championship game that Bama's had two backs go over 100 yards. They did the same thing to Texas back in the 09 title game. And one of them, Lacey, is the offense. Went back to Alabama, and this will be his third BCS championship. Game. And come back with somebody who wasn't even there to look at, but he'll see him during a the game. They had to change the recruiting rules.